Good afternoon. I'm Frank Friedman. I'm president of Piedmont Virginia Community College. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the 18th, almost annual, Academic and Leadership Awards Convocation. Today we will recognize outstanding PVCC students for their academic achievements, leadership, and service to our college and our community. I, I must pause and say, it is so good to see people out there in the audience. You know, that we had to postpone this for the past two years, and it is just so great to be back with this convocation, and it's great to see all of you here. The students we recognize today are not only the best of PVCC's 7,500 students, but they are truly among the best college students anywhere. I don't care if it's a two-year college or a four-year college. They're the future leaders of their chosen professions, of our community, and maybe even our nation. You often hear people worry about the caliber of our future leaders. They lament the fact that today's college students just won't be up to the task. Well, they need to meet these students. I am confident that our businesses, our communities, will be in good hands with these future leaders. Each of these students has a story behind their success. For many, it's a story of overcoming obstacles. They might have been financial obstacles, social, academic obstacles. Many needed a second chance or maybe even a third chance to be successful. PVCC takes great pride in providing opportunity for all. The students did it with the support of family and friends, and many of them are here today. And we are so glad that you are here to share in this moment with your loved ones. But the students could not have achieved this success and overcome these barriers without the support and encouragement of the outstanding PVCC faculty and staff. I must tell you, although I've worked at six community colleges, I have never worked with a group so talented and so dedicated to student success. And I'm just going to ask all of the PVCC faculty and staff, please stand and let's salute them. Those are the folks who make PVCC what it is. And just like our students, they're among the best you'll find anywhere. Um, at this time, I'd like to welcome our college board members who are here. Uh, I see Janet Morrow out there. Wave at us, Janet. And Lola Richardson, our board chair, is up here. And she's going to come to the podium in a minute. Um, I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I'll be in big trouble. Um, I also want to recognize all of our foundation board members who are here. The foundation board is a fundraising board, and they have been working tirelessly the last 18 months, and they are about to wrap up our most ambitious campaign ever. They have raised $14 million to help PVCC move into the future. And I'd like them to stand. Whit, come on. A truly great accomplishment. And now it's my pleasure to bring our college board chair to the podium. Please welcome Lola Richardson. Good afternoon. All right, you're here. Okay. Dr. Friedman, honored guest, members of the faculty, colleagues, our distinguished honorees. Welcome. It is my very great pleasure to welcome you to our PVCC Academic and Leadership Awards this afternoon. As chairperson of the PVCC College Board, I extend my warmest welcome and congratulations to all our honorees and acknowledge that the support that has helped you get here has been your family, your friends, your teachers, the faculty, and the great leadership here at PVCC. So to all of the family and friends, welcome and thank you for having such beautiful people in our midst. 
This afternoon, we are here to celebrate and applaud your achievements. You join the lineage that honors your endeavors as well as the historic legacy of PVCC. Your achievements this afternoon is not for you only, but for our community, our country, and for our world. Today, we celebrate our honorees who hail from different countries, who are citizens of many nations, and who have come from many different states. There can be no doubt about PVCC's commitment to a global education, nor about the individual and collective impact upon this community and henceforth upon the nation and the world as a whole. Some of you have braved illnesses and other personal challenges and losses. Today, we remember those who are not here to celebrate your achievements. As I look out at you, I see both great accomplishments and great hope for our world. I see students, teachers, and leadership that has challenged, revived, and strengthened this college, and in the process, we have served each other with grace and kindness. As a family, we have lived up to our mission and our values. As you reflect on your time here at PVCC, on all that you've done here in the neighboring communities, on learning and leading in which you have engaged, my hope is that you carry noble ideas with you wherever you go. You have been shaped by your family values, your education. You have been transformed by PVCC and your peers. You have been and inspired by all those who have gone before you. The board wishes for you great happiness and that you will continue to be a force for good in this world. This is our heritage and this is the charge that come with your honors this afternoon. It pleases me to give the first award this afternoon, and this award is for kindness and just being plain awesome. Envelope, please. And the winner of this year's Kindness and Awesome Award is Dr. Frank Friedman and the PVCC family. Welcome and congratulations. Um, that was not in the script. <laughs> I have this detailed script and that wasn't in there. But, but thank you very much, Lola. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna close by saying congratulations to all of our graduates and let's get on with the awards. Good afternoon, everyone, uh, once again. Welcome to the Academic and Leadership Awards Convocation. My name is John Donnelly. I'm the Vice President for Instruction and Student Services here at the college. And as the Chief Academic and Student Affairs Officer at the college, there is really no greater privilege than the opportunity to recognize the academic and leadership achievement of our students. Today, we will celebrate our students for their many achievements at PVCC. We will give awards to those students who have been recognized by the faculty for their academic achievement. We will give awards to those students who have been recognized for their leadership accomplishments outside of the classroom. We will recognize those students who have been awarded scholarships based on merit, and we will recognize those students who have won academic awards on a national level. And finally, we will recognize one student with the PVCC Distinguished Student Award. To the honorees to my left and in front of me, you should be a proud of your accomplishments and your high achievements. I hope you will continue to strive for excellence and continue your academic and leadership pursuits. There's no doubt each of you has a bright educational, educational and professional future ahead of you. To the families, to the significant others, partners, and friends of the honorees, you too should be proud. You likely had a lot to do with the success of those being honored here today. Our first recognitions this afternoon will be the academic awards presented by the faculty from our three academic divisions. The students we will honor were all selected by members of the faculty in recognition of their grade point average, class involvement, service to the college, service to their peers, and for their leadership and motivation. For their achievement, 
Each student will be presented with a check for $100. Students, as I announce your name, uh, please come forward to receive your award. Stand for a photo with the faculty presenter as I read comments from the faculty member who nominated you. You will then cross the stage and return to your seat. First, we will start with the academic awards from the Business, Mathema Mathematics, and Technologies Division. The first award being the Sarah M. Steele Award for Accounting, going to Dustin Putfart. <laughs> Dustin is a superb student in the accounting program. His performance is just remarkable, so much so that he has earned the nickname Mr. Einstein. <laughs> from his accounting professor, Barb Wachowski. Like many of our students, Dustin juggles various roles each day, including family obligations, college work, etc. Thus, his dedication to his studies is impressive, and his level of intelligence is just amazing. <laughs> the William and Joyce Jacomite Award for Administrative Support Technology goes to Jessica Bryan, and I do not believe Jessica is here with us today. Uh, the James Egan Award for Advanced Manufacturing uh, goes to Daniel Abrams, who is also not here today. The Tucker and Betty Adcock Award for Business goes to Daisy Dudley. <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, con Daisy continuously demonstrates ac outstanding academic award work. Her assignments reflect a serious commitment to challenging herself to go further and deeper in her understanding of the business field. Furthermore, Daisy is a positive example for her other students as she thoughtfully engages in online discussions and during weekly coffee hour discussions. She eagerly shares her practical knowledge of marketing, which enhances the learning experience for the rest of the class. <laughs> the William and Joyce Jacomite Award for Computer Science goes to Matthew McBride. Matthew is the perfect student. He attends every class and is always well prepared, maintains a positive attitude, actively participates in class activities and discussions, and is always helpful to his fellow students. His approach to his studies is truly inspiring. After earning nearly perfect grades in every computer science course at the college, Matthew has set a new standard for this award. The award for criminal justice goes to uh, Kristen Levans, who is not here today. Uh, the award for culinary arts uh, goes to Ashlyn Miller, who I believe is not here, probably cooking. <laughs> the award for cybersecurity goes to Effie Dianele. <laughs> Effie Dianele is an outstanding scholar. Her professors are particularly impressed with her keen intelligence, interpersonal charisma, creative initiative, coupled with her tremendous intellectual energy. Effie is an exceptional role model for others. She is lively, affectionate, devoted, conscientious, eager to learn, and culturally sensitive. She is strongly recommended for her academic excellence. The Dorothy V. Vondrasek Award for Engineering goes to Nathan Katzka, who I do not believe is here today. Uh, the Information Systems Technology Award, once again, goes to F.A. Dianele. <laughs> Two in a row. Ms. Dianele is an excellent student, a classroom leader, and has a talent for not just giving the correct answer to a problem, but solving a problem with flair and style. There is no doubt her keen intellect, wry humor, and work ethic will serve her well in her future endeavors. The Euler Prize for Excellence in Mathematics goes to Matthew McBride. Another, another one. Matthew is a dedicated and conscientious student. He is excelling in all his math courses and is a pleasure to have in class. He is engaged and thoughtful, setting a great tone for the class and example for his peers. He digs deeply into the material, even when the material involves mathematical proofs, making an, him an excellent candidate for this award. The Jean and Phyllis Johnson Mathematics Spirit Award goes to John Gardner. I nominate John Gardner for the PVCC Spirit Award for effort in the study of mathematics. John has been a source of inspiration to his classmates by lifting their spirits, forming study groups, and fostering engagement. His positive outlook and approach to his schooling has a profound impact on those around him. And the award for physics goes to John Reed. 
John stands out, quietly grasping the material and displaying a high level of mastery. His knowledge and understanding of the material has earned him respect amongst his peers. He leads group work without being domineering, always willing to help others, and mindful of being inclusive. John is an excellent communicator, curious, hardworking, and focused. He is a bright light in a class and pleasure to teach. We'll now move on to the awards from the Academic Division of Health and Life Sciences. The Dolores Brandola Award for Anatomy and Physiology goes to Alyssa Keaton. And I don't know if Alyssa is not here. I believe she's taking a test, a pre-entrance test for nursing. So good luck, Alyssa. Uh, the Antha Hallman Award for Biology goes to Brandon Bickley. Brandon is an outstanding biologist. His curiosity, enthusiasm, and attention make him a pleasure to have in class. He is conducting a well-designed and interesting independent study project this semester, and he has the makings of a great scientist. The award for chemistry, guess what, goes to Brandon Bickley. Brandon's exemplary performance in all his chemistry courses results from a strong work ethic and dedication to success. He is always willing to help a fellow student and continually demonstrates qualities commensurate with the highest level of personal integrity and academic ability. On behalf of the chemistry department, we wish him the best of luck in all of his future endeavors. The award for diagnostic medical sonography goes to Katherine Baker. Catherine is an outstanding student who has demonstrated excellent achievement by maintaining academic excellence throughout the rigorous sonography program at PVCC. She works very hard in each class. She encourages her classmates to do their best and continue to work hard. She also has shown leadership skills in the classroom. The Joyce Fortune Arrington Award for Emergency Medical Services goes to Shiler Wong, but I don't believe Skyler is here. The Dr. T Award for Geology goes to Gordon Alexander. Gordon has immersed himself in geology, from academic success in the college's introductory geology courses to being an active participant in, ge in the geology club, to completing an independent research project, to attending our spring break travel field course, Gordon's done it all. He is a smart and dedicated person and eager for geological experience. He has a bright future ahead of him on planet Earth. <laughs> the award for health information management and medical administrative support goes to Cynthia Kinner, and Cynthia is not with us today. The award for microbiology goes to Sarah Johnson. Sarah is a wonderful student who enjoys learning and strives to better herself. She appreciates the scientific process, lab work, and learning new skills. Sarah is an exemplary peer to her classmates, and her kindness and support to her lab partners did not go unnoticed. Sarah challenged herself by giving a presentation by herself while others had partners. Sarah has great potential and is very deserving of this award. The Mary Lamb Wyan Award for Nursing goes to Alicia Braun. Yeah. Alicia is one of the strongest students in the nursing program. Her grades and assignments are always top notch. What makes Alicia unique and deserving of this award goes beyond the classroom. Alicia has been a friend and maternal figurehead for many people in the program. She is a great student and a great person. The Dorothy Castle Award for Pharmacy Technology goes to Anaya Prince. Anaya has shown great interest in the profession of pharmacy. She is diligent with her work and shows that she will be an asset to any pharmacy. The Adam Clark Wine Award for Practical Nursing goes to Courtney Jones. Courtney here? Courtney is not here. The Elizabeth Nally Award for Radiography goes to Thomas Moon. 
Thomas Moon has been nominated for an academic award for his exceptional efforts to become a highly skilled radiographer. This is in addition to being a parent, working part-time, and commuting four to five days a week from Culpeper. Thanks to Thomas for always being an engaged learner, being open-minded to constructive criticism, and for serving as a positive role model to others wherever he goes. And the award for surgical technology goes to Sharon Foster, who is not with us today. Now, on to the awards from the Division of Humanities, Fine Arts and Social Sciences. The award for communication studies goes to Sheila Ryan. <laughs> Sheila always gave outstanding and creative speeches in the class and set a fantastic example for her peers. She was always well prepared and had an engaging delivery style due to the time she took outside of class to prepare for her speeches. She has made returning to school look easy and her infectious energy was something to look forward to each class. The Dick Harrington Award for College Composition goes to Nicole Shiflett. <laughs> Nicole is an intelligent, talented student who is dedicated to bettering herself as a student, a professional, and a person. She possesses a degree of talent, empathy, and introspection that make her an adept writer. Hardworking, intelligent, and reliable, she asks questions, considers her options, and revises until she produces superior work. Her classroom work ethic and dedication will surely benefit her in the future. The award for drama and theater goes to Latasha Struthers. <laughs> Latasha has demonstrated the highest level of focus and excellence in her approach to theater, both in class and in production. She performed the role of Puck in A Midsummer's Night's Dream with a sense of professional and creative drive that motivated the whole cast. Her experience as a spoken word poet will no doubt serve her well as she pursues a career in the arts. The award for economics goes to Brighton Wirt. <laughs> Brighton is an intelligent, focused, and hardworking individual who challenges himself and actively seeks new opportunities and experiences. He has the determination, maturity, and intelligence to succeed in any endeavor and always maintains a positive attitude. His academic achievements show that he is committed to his education and will work hard to achieve his goal. The award for education and early childhood education goes to Maria Finan. <laughs> Maria is a promising future educator committed to developing independent critical thinkers. Her coursework was consistently outstanding from thoughtful discussion posts on classroom case studies to a detailed guide for Virginia voters on educational policies. She submitted detailed, insightful classroom observations under less than ideal circumstances. Moreover, her instructional plans were creative, ambitious, revealing a teacher who will challenge themselves to challenge their students. The award for fine arts goes to Jennifer Sullivan. Jen brings her natural enthusiasm to everything she touches in the art department. An active member of the art club, she is always the first to volunteer for task or suggest creative solutions. Jen is a talented artist herself, but also a generous colleague, gently encouraging, or encouraging less confident students and generally making art look so approachable, fun, and cool that others want to follow her example. The award for French goes to Phoebe Haishi, who I do not believe is here today. The Betty W. Black Award for Graphics and Media Arts goes to Emily Reifenstein. <laughs> Emily excels in graphic and media arts and has set a supreme example academically. Her mastery of the course content was frequently displayed during class, inspiring students by demonstrating not only a fine talent, but also a willingness to help her fellow classmates learn and achieve. The Mary C. Kelly Award for History goes to Quincy Pinkston. <laughs> Quincy is my student in a section of the History of Western Civilization course. Quincy wrote one of the best papers that I have ever read in several years. Quincy has a keen mind, a strong work ethic, and not only asks the right question, 
but then ask the next and deeper questions. It's my pleasure to nominate Quincy for the History Award. The Carol Friedman Music Award goes to James Durbin, who is not here with us today. The Frank L. Wood Jr. Award for Philosophy goes to Zoe Hall. <laughs> Zoe's work has been outstanding in the Honors Philosophy course this spring. Always thoughtful and engaging the primary source material, Zoe's developed ability to offer original insights and criticisms has enriched the class. Zoe's work is aided further by the quality of her writing where she presents her ideas with a clarity and precision that make for delightful reading. The award for political science goes to Liam Kelly. <laughs> Liam is not only a great political science student, but he is a democracy warrior. He has worked tirelessly to register voters. He was part of the team writing the 2020 Nonpartisan Voter Guide and is currently drafting PBCC's 2022 Voter Action Plan. His enthusiasm and hard work are impressive. He is a star. The award for psychology goes to Sarah L. Abar. Sarah is an incredibly attentive, intelligent, and conscientious student. She works easily with her peers and professors and is a pleasant presence in the classroom. The award for religion goes to Jessica Calderon, who I do not believe is here today. Uh, the Pat and Homer Marshall Award for Religion goes to Samuel Plymel, who is also not here today. The Frazier Williams Award for Sociology goes to Evelyn Fisher. <laughs> Evelyn has demonstrated a knack for grasping difficult sociological concepts. Her essay, Underrepresentation of Women in Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Professions from the Sociology of Gender class, was nominated to appear in Insights, PVCC's Student Research Journal. She is currently excelling in Introduction to Sociology and hopes to major in Sociology or Social Work. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, the award for Spanish goes to Elizabeth Jehoda Wasung. Elizabeth has distinguished herself as an excellent student during her four semesters of taking Spanish. She has admirably balanced the demands she has encountered in her young life, the academic river, rigor of her studies, and the stress of having to work 30 hours a week waiting tables at a busy restaurant. In addition, Elizabeth has found time to represent the students in the PVCC's College Senate. So give, let's give one more round of applause to our academic uh, awards recipients. All right. It's now my great pleasure to introduce to you Professor Nicole Erkschlin. Professor Erkschlin is in her 11th year as a full-time faculty member at PVCC. As professor of English, former coordinator of the English department, recent chair of the College Senate, and an active and engaged member of the PVCC community, Dr. Erkslin is driven to open the doors of opportunity and a brighter future for her students, while constantly challenging herself to continue her own learning and growth. When Dr. Erkslin was hired to join the full-time faculty in English at PVCC in 2011, she brought with her considerable teaching experience in the disciplines of composition, student development and teaching methods, as well as a long history of active engagement and leadership in college governance. Dr. Erkslin's teaching record has been exemplary. Her reputation as a challenging but compassionate English professor is shared amongst students and advisors, and her courses tend to have full enrollment. She has consistently high student evaluations on which students share their appreciation for her clear expectations, excellent organization, clear communication, and relevant content. Dr. Erkslin is a third generation Virgin Islander from St. Thomas. She majored in English at Tulane University in New Orleans and earned her doctorate in English education at the University of Virginia. She first started teaching in the community college right here at PVCC as an adjunct in the mid 90s. 
She then joined the English faculty at Blue Ridge Community College in 1997 and taught there for eight years. She then joined the education faculty at Mary Baldwin College for six years and then returned to PVCC in 2011. We are pleased that Professor Erxland is our nominee for the State Council of Higher Education for Virginia Outstanding Faculty Award. Please join me in welcoming Professor Nicole Erxland to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Donnelly. It's been a lovely and unexpected honor to have been nominated for PVCC's Outstanding Faculty Member and selected as a semifinalist. Thanks to Becky Parkhill for cheering me on and for all of the colleagues and students who wrote such kind letters for my nomination packet. Over the years as a college professor, I've often prioritized my work with students above other aspects of my life. And knowing that my efforts have been seen and valued, it means more than I can say. With apologies to T.S. Eliot, April actually is one of my favorite months, uh, mostly because of the red buds, the dogwoods, but also because of this ceremony, which is my favorite day on the academic calendar at PVCC. Um, it's the day where we honor students who've made the most of their opportunities here. Today, I'd like to take a few minutes to share a favorite poem with you. It's one that comes to my mind every April. It's called Eyesight by A.R. Amons. It was May before my attention came to spring. And my word, I said to the southern slopes, I've missed it. It came and went before I got right to see. Don't worry, said the mountain. Try the later northern slopes. Or if you can climb, climb into spring. But, said the mountain, it's not that way with all things. Some things that go are gone. This is my poem of April. Why do I love it so much? I'll tell you. First, for all its botanical glory, for those of us who live the college life, let's face it, April tends to be a time when we have to keep our heads down, studying, writing, grading. I love the way this poem reminds me to look up from my work and appreciate the magic happening around me. Second, this poem really speaks to me about the power of second chances. I believe in them. Every one of us has had a late start or has faltered or lost our way. Um, we've felt that ice cube in the gut when we fear we've got it wrong or we missed our chance. Those students who pick themselves up and get back on the trail and recommit to the journey, those are my heroes. Students, don't ever be afraid to ask for a second chance and then lean into it. Faculty, I can't think of a more rewarding aspect of our work than shepherding students from their inevitable mistakes and disappointments to deeper learning and a successful conclusion to a tough semester. I hope we never forget what a privilege it is to help a student who wants to overcome an obstacle and is willing to try again. Third, this is a poem about striving, and I draw such inspiration from this idea of climbing into spring. Even when the climb is steep and we're breathing hard and working up a sweat, there's the exhilaration of our own steady progress and the promise of a dazzling vista. My wish for all the students and faculty here today is that in the busy academic week ahead, we all catch ourselves having fun feeling invigorated and energized by the climb. Finally, this is also a poem about the infinite nature of many opportunities, excuse me, the finite nature of many opportunities and the inevitability of endings. Some things that go are gone, Amons writes. We are reminded that we must try our best to not waste our chances and while we can, we are wise to savor the experiences and celebrate the people who enrich our lives. Thus inspired, I'd like to close my remarks today by expressing my gratitude in a few ways, starting with all the students here today, including my daughters. <laughs> the 
They have both been working hard to try to graduate this May, and yay! <laughs> <laughs> Students, we are so thankful and proud of you for believing in your own potential and persisting. Persisting with your academic goals throughout this pandemic. We will not forget your courage, and you should not either. I'm so grateful also for my colleagues, faculty, and staff for the way we get to work together to support students at PVCC. Our partnerships have been a blessing. I'd like to express special gratitude to two of my colleagues from the English department who are retiring this year, Tom Hyder, um, my dear friend and confidant since graduate school, thank you for recruiting me to teach my first night class and giving me all your best stuff. And Ben Sloan, our gentle mentor and um, champion of our most vulnerable students. Thank you for your open door and your big-hearted pedagogy. We will miss you both, but we will not forget your many contributions. And last but certainly not least, I'd like to express my sin sincere gratitude to Dr. Frank Friedman, our passionate leader at PVCC, who will also be retiring this spring. Thank you, Frank. Thank you for caring for us so well over the years and for making it possible for us to serve our community in such meaningful and memorable ways. Thanks. Good afternoon. My name is Andrew Renshaw. I am the Dean of Student Services here at PVCC, and I have the privilege of awarding the Leadership Awards to students. The first award is the Art Club Award, presented to Morgan Bell. <laughs> Approached about becoming president of the Art Club, Morgan was understandably hesitant, wanting to know what she was signing up for. Fun, creativity, and adventure, of course, what else? Tasked with leading a group of art students to create our first ever departmental coloring book, Morgan has met every challenge with calm, competence, curiosity, and grace. Our new job description for art club president. <laughs> the next award is the Black Student Alliance Award that's presented to Shelley Tyree. Shelly began as a quiet member in the back of the club and has grown to be a voice and face of the Black Student Alliance. Over the last three years, Shelly has not only found her voice, but she has helped the club develop a voice through art by spearheading our 2019 t-shirt design. Her growth and dedication show that she is a leader. The Creative Writing Club Award goes to Caroline Kenny. <laughs> Caroline has courageously cobbled together a creative writing club as we've returned to campus. She has amplified our social media presence and tried new events to get students back on campus. She good-naturedly provides leadership to the club while juggling her many responsibilities outside of school. And she's an excellent writer, too. The Crew Club Award goes to Ashley McCready. <laughs> Ashley has been faithful and hardworking as our crew president. She is known for her ability to connect with new people. She is dependable and anticipates what needs to be done for the greater crew. Ashley perseveres through difficulty. She is always willing to step up and answer the call when there is a need. Ashley has made a tremendous difference as a student leader. The Nicola and Rosa Moschella Award for Drama is presented to Zachary Zalter. I believe Zachary is with us this afternoon. The Environmental and Horticultural Club Award goes to Vincent Sun. <laughs> Vince has been a mainstay in the PVCC Community Garden during the COVID period. Always enthusiastic, he'll do whatever needs to be done, bringing energy and sweat and hard work. Vince has got that important skill of throwing himself in wholeheartedly. Plus, he possesses the kind of humorous, wise mouth we treasure. <laughs> the Forum Award goes to Carlos Banda. 
Carlos Banda Montes has been an enthusiastic and engaged club president for the forum this semester. He takes initiative in recru recruiting club members and distributing the newspaper. He balances his leadership duties well with his other club engagements, bridging various communities on campus. He is an excellent member of the club, and we are grateful for his service. The Geology Club Award goes to Caroline Kenny. Caroline is an exceptional student with an exceptional dedication to expanding her horizons through experiences. She has attended every Geology Club activity offered at PVCC and taken every course, including the Spring Break Field Course in Death Valley, California. Consistently positive, attentive, and respectful, her dedication and enthusiasm are unmatched. The International Club Award goes to Han Fan. Han has been an exemplary president of the International Club. She has been a passionate and enthusiastic leader, full of energy and creativity, who kept the club engaged even during the pandemic. She organized many activities, including virtual cooking lessons, Zoom presentations, hiking, and other outdoor social events. She has academic performance and ex exceptional leadership skills. The Japan Club goes to Lance Schaefer. Lance did a great job as the Japan Club president. He organized events for the club and always worked hard for students to understand Japanese culture better with his creative ideas. He also took initiative at our Zoom discussion meetings between PVCC students and Ritsu Maiken University students in Japan. He is intelligent, polite, hardworking, and very pleasant to work with. The Music Club Award also goes to Carlos Banda. Carlos is a kind and genuine individual. He uses that kindness to engage people and encourage them to join the Music Club. Everyone feels welcome. He has organized the club in a whole new way, taking the reins while listening to what students want out of their club. It will be exciting to see the progress of the Music Club under his leadership. Carlos. The Above and Beyond Award for the National Society of Leadership and Success, the NSLS Club, goes to Caroline Shepard. <laughs> Caroline is a shining example of what leadership embodies, as she's worked, tire worked tirelessly to build and bring a new chapter of NSLS to PVCC's campus. She puts in copious amount of work, both in her studies and other responsibilities. She's always willing to help others and does so with a smile on her face. I have no doubt that this shining star has a bright future ahead. The Phi Theta Kappa Award goes to Daisy Dudley. Daisy has been the star of the story, The Reluctant President. She was too modest to assume the role initially, but her organizational skills, tireless commitment to her peers, and willingness to tackle any challenge simply made her rise to the top. She is constitutionally incapable of walking past a problem without stopping to help and find solutions. The Pottery Club Award goes to Lindsay Case, and Lindsay, I don't believe, is with us this afternoon. Um, Radiography Club goes to Kay Lee Ship. <laughs> Kay Lee has been nominated for a leadership award due to her positive efforts during her time in the RAD program. Her exceptional contributions include serving as a class representative, assisting with club fundraisers, representing radiography on club day, volunteering to help a fellow student needing position practice in the lab, and creating a technique chart for fluoroscopy reference document to share with classmates. <laughs> the Cheryl Dunstan Allison Award for Science Club goes to Medina Fakirzai. Medina has boundless enthusiasm for all things science. She has helped the science club thrive during uncertain times, and the club is stronger than ever because of her efforts. The 
The Scrubs Club, this is not in your program handout, okay? So this is, we're going off book here. Uh, the Scrubs Club Award goes to Sheila Ryan. <laughs> Sheila is the first president of the Scrubs Club. Previously a pastry chef, Sheila came to PVCC to pr pursue a career in sonography. She is a natural leader, orchestrating every club meeting, vetting club speakers, giving speaker introductions, arranging speaker recordings and gifts, as well as fostering attendance. As the inaugural president of the Scrubs Club, Sheila has glazed a trail, blazed a trail for others to follow. <laughs> oh, glazed the pastry chef, I get it. Oh, all right, sorry about that. The Student Government Association Award goes to Jessica Haladke. When our SGA president unexpectedly left at the end of last semester, Jess volunteered to take on the presidency. Due to the negative effects of the pandemic, the SGA is rebuilding, and Jess hasn't run away from the challenge. She is playing an important role in creating the Constitution and recruiting club representatives. She has maintained a positive, can-do spirit and is committed to helping PVCC. The Wyant Dowell Award for Student Veterans of America goes to Johnson Lee. Johnson is an emerging leader who demonstrates initiative, motivation, and potential for continued student leadership. He has a passion for people and is dedicated to helping others. He serves as VP in the SVA and PTK and actively participates in the SGA and the forum. He is on the president's list and hopes to study Chinese language and literature upon transfer to UVA. And finally, the ultimate Frisbee club. Christina Stegmeier. Christina has done an exceptional job in leading PVCC's ultimate team following the return to campus. In spite of injuries restricting her ability to play for part of the season, Christina has created a new team from scratch. As team captain, Christina is on the field every week leading drills and practices, recruiting an array of players and creating a welcoming atmosphere for new players. Good afternoon, my name is Harry Stillerman. I'm the Vice President for Institutional and Advancement and Development here at PVCC. And I'm very pleased to bring greetings today on behalf of our PVCC Educational Foundation Board of Directors. Uh, also pleased to extend our uh, heartfelt congratulations to all the award recipients today. Uh, each year, because of the generosity of numerous individuals and organizations in our community, uh, the Educational Foundation is able to award between $400,000 and $500,000 in scholarships to deserving students at PVCC each year. Uh, after hearing uh, all the remarks for the first part of this program, I think it's fair to say that that investment has certainly paid off. <laughs> In your program, you'll find a listing of all those individuals that received student scholarships this year. At this time, I'd like to ask if you received an Educational Foundation scholarship to please, be st to please stand and be recognized. Okay, so the students that just stood, uh, please pay special attention. At this time, I'd like to ask all of those in the audience that, were with us, that are with us today that have been uh, donors to the Educational Foundation to help make these scholarships possible, please stand and be recognized. And those students, I'm sure you'll want to give them a huge round of applause as well. Thank you and congratulations again to all our award winners. Good afternoon. Every year, all two-year colleges in Virginia are asked to nominate two students per campus from the members of Phi Theta Kappa. Phi Theta Kappa, if you don't know, is our honor society here on campus to the PTK All-USA Academic Team. 
Now, I want to make this actually really, really clear to you all. This is the all USA academic team. Just don't want any confusion there. Um, the nominees from Virginia are known as the all Virginia academic team. Okay? Nominations are based on outstanding performance in the classroom, exceptional service to the college, and service to the community. Piedmont recognized its two nominees at a luncheon in Richmond with college president and our outgoing president, Frank Friedman, and the chancellor of the VCCS last week, and now we want to give them a really big cheer here at home. And our first nominee is PTK president, Daisy Dudley. And <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> And I should mention that she also walked away with the Coca-Cola Gold Scholar Award, and that puts her in the All Virginia Top 10 list. So Daisy, please come up. And they're, they're kind of joined at the hip, so I'm going to ask our other nominee, uh, Liz, Elizabeth Jehoda Wassing, Liz. <laughs> Last seen on stage collecting the Spanish award. And, <laughs> and now another one to go with it. Okay, before we wrap up, we have one more award. The Distinguished Student Award was established in 1994 to recognize students who demonstrate exemplary service or leadership at the college and through activities in the college service region and beyond. Nominations are submitted to the college's awards committee, which makes the difficult choice among the many outstanding nominees. This year's recipient is Caroline Shepard. Now I get to embarrass her. This is, this is the fun part. Um, Caroline is being recognized for her extraordinary contributions to PVCC student life and for being a student leader. She has excelled academically in leadership and in service. She has a 3.7 GPA and she will graduate next year with a degree in nursing. She has been an active member of the Environmental and Horticulture Club, and she serves on the General Assembly of the Student Government Association. And PTK. And PTK. Forgot to put that in there. Everybody corrects me. It's part of the job. Sorry. It's okay. You can see that she's a leader, right? Her most noteworthy accomplishment is founding and serving as the initial president of the National Society of Leadership and Success chapter here, in PV, here at PVCC. That chapter has already over 100 members. It is an active chapter that provides leadership training for students and gives them great opportunities to interact with world famous leaders. They, they have a speaker series. They've had several US presidents, the Dalai Lama. I mean, what a great opportunity for our students to interact with truly world renowned leaders. And she's responsible for getting all that started. And you can see why she is receiving this award. So for her leadership and contribution to student engagement at PVCC, it's my pleasure to award the Distinguished Student Award to Caroline Shepard.
Okay. Well, it's good to be back. Let's give one more round of applause to all of the recipients this afternoon. Well done. This concludes the Academic and Leadership Awards Convocation Program. I invite you to attend a reception in honor of our awardees located upstairs and around the back of the room uh, to the Dickinson Commons. Thank you for coming and have a safe and great evening.